private workouts, if you can get one, they're very, very important because you can start to have him do things that you wouldn't necessarily see in a game. You can start to hit him ground balls to his backhand, to the hole. Can he hit the ball the other way with authority, with power? You can really uh, tailor it to whatever your needs are. And I've always felt that that was also another important one, although you didn't want to make your sole evaluation off of the work. I'm Matt Waymeyer with the MLB.com FastCast. Having gained clearance earlier in the week to sign with any major league team of his choosing, speculation intensifies as to where 19-year-old Cuban free agent Yoan Moncada will begin his big league journey. The middle infield prospect has reportedly held private workouts for a number of clubs, and MLB.com analyst Jim Duquette believes that a bidding war could quickly escalate for Moncada's services and considerably narrow his field of potential suitors. This is going to be an expensive player. There have been reports of 20 to $30 million or more. Now you double that amount because of the tax. It becomes difficult if you're a small market club to afford that kind of player. Teams like the Dodgers will certainly, I think, be in play. You hear the Padres is one because of the international exposure uh, and experience that A.J. probably the new general manager has. They've been very aggressive. But then you hear Boston Red Sox. You hear the New York Yankees, some of those big market clubs. And I wouldn't be surprised in the end if one of those large market clubs ends up with them. The Cubs made a move to bolster their depth, signing infielder Jonathan Herrera to a minor league deal with an invitation to spring trading. The 30-year-old veteran had played his first five big league seasons in Colorado before spending 2014 with the Red Sox, hitting 233 over 42 games, but owns a career mark of 263. The versatile utility man saw time at every infield position last season except pitcher and catcher. The American League champion Kansas City Royals avoided arbitration with left-hander Danny Duffy as the two sides settled on a one-year deal worth just over $2.4 million. The 26-year-old made a triumphant return from Tommy John surgery with a 2.53 ERA over 31 appearances last season, including 25 starts. Meanwhile, the Blue Jays' Danny Valencia became the first player this offseason to win an arbitration hearing as he will earn the $1.675 billion figure he requested for 2015, trumping a counter offer from the Jays, which was nearly a half billion dollars less. The Texas Rangers have signed outfielder Nate Shearholtz to a minor league deal with an invitation to spring training. If he makes the club, Shearholtz will pocket a $1.75 billion salary for the upcoming season. Nearly 31 years of age, Shearholtz hit only 195 in 122 total games between the Cubs and Nationals in 2014, but owns a career batting average of 253 over eight big league seasons. He drilled a career high 21 home runs with the Cubs as recently as 2013. And finally, with many major league cities in the grips of a brutal winter chill, Friday's truck day gave fans the first sign that warmer days are indeed ahead. A number of big league teams loaded up their trucks with thousands of pounds of equipment and began the trek to their spring training destinations with pitchers and catchers set to report later this month. MLB.com will track the journeys of all 30 major league clubs as the countdown to spring training continues. For more on these stories and for the very latest hot stove activity, keep it locked in to MLB.com. It's baseball everywhere.